everybody, welcome to Brickford. My name is Mike and it is time for the news. This week has brought some cool stuff. We have a new Minecraft set coming, probably the biggest today. That is a cool teaser reveal from LEGO. Also in the LEGO Ninja Go movie, we have some reveals, not many, but still that is something. And also in the LEGO Ideas line, there was a huge mix up of things and we're gonna report on that. So without too much more talking, let's check out the news right now. But before we head into the news, take some time to take a look at the Amazon links in the video description below because you can find some cool deals right there. Most of the deals were carried over from the last week, but the highlight for this week is definitely some sales for Star Wars sets, which are related to the release of the Blu-ray version of the Rogue One movie. There is also a pretty good discount on the City Police Patrol Boat, along with other city sets, Minecraft and Ninja Go. For all the deals in full detail, make sure to check out the links in the video description below. And the first story of this week is that LEGO has released a teaser for the newest Minecraft set and that seems to be the biggest Minecraft set they have ever made. A silhouette picture published on their Facebook page shows a somewhat really big set that looks like uh, some height of a ravine or big mountain. And this would go well along with the rumors of the awaited set, the Mountain Cave to 1137 that should be available sometime this year. And the silhouettes of the minifig indicate that we are getting some skeletons, definitely Steve or Alex as Minecraft minifigs. You can even spot some bats and perhaps a tail of a bigger creature. As mentioned, it's gonna be the biggest Minecraft set today, so it's gonna be bigger than the village or the fortress. And perhaps not only the biggest set in terms of bricks count, but also given the silhouette in the picture, I think it's gonna be the highest one to date. There is no release date nor price yet, but the official unveiling is expected to be happening soon. And most likely that won't be the only Minecraft set released in the coming wave. So let us wait and keep our fingers crossed and hope that it is something really cool. And as if we had not enough set reviews last week, the new LEGO Rebrick contest that is asking people to create a short stop-motion field based around the Ninjago movie revealed some very interesting stuff along the prizes. The graphic shows the Kai's Mech set and also the Green Mech Dragon set, so these should be the first two sets to know from the rumored 25 set franchise of the LEGO Ninjago movie. And pretty much the prize list also confirmed that we are actually getting the direct-to-consumer LEGO Ninjago exclusive set that's gonna be priced around $300 and that means it's gonna be an enormous set. So the rumors about this set from the last week were just confirmed, we still do not know what it's gonna actually be. Anyhow, the prizes for the contest are pretty impressive, there are six grand winners to be picked, so if you are into LEGO stop motion brick films, you definitely should apply for the contest. But for me personally, I am just waiting for the official reveal of all the sets, along with the exclusive one. This one is definitely confirmed, but still a mystery. And for more reviews, the official LEGO Collectible Minifigure Series 17 pictures were released this week. Of course, the contents of this collection were already revealed before, but now we can see all the minifigs in high detail. As you probably know, there was also a mystery minifig included in the series. And now we know its name, it's gonna be the Highwayman. And from the silhouette, it seems to be some kind of a pirate or maybe a French Revolution era soldier. Maybe a musketeer. It is definitely holding two flintlocks. In more detailed information about this series, we know the distribution of the figures in each box. And if you are preparing to collect them as many people do, you can check out the links in the video description for all the details. The minifigures will become available for purchase on May the 1st this year and I believe the price will be somewhat similar to other collectible minifigure series hovering around 3 to 5 dollars per fig. That is probably another next to the snow speeder good reason to wait for May releases. And if you are a Star Wars fan you should probably have tickets for the Star Wars celebration this year in Orlando, Florida. Because as an attendee, you can take part in a raffle to have a chance to purchase an exclusive Star Wars Celebration set. And personally, I do not think that is somewhat of a very exciting announcement because the raffle only gets you a chance to buy the set for $40. And the set we are talking about is the Detention Block Rescue, a set of 220 pieces with Luke and Han Solo attempting to rescue Princess Leia. That is a very iconic scene from the movie, but somewhat for $40 we are missing Leia for some reason. And both Luke and Han minifigs are not exclusive at all. So this seems to be a rather simple build of an iconic scene nevertheless, but still the only exclusive thing about this is perhaps the box. So I am not really sure, a lot of obstacles to get into this raffle in the first place, and then you have to spend $40 to get a not exclusive set, except for the box. I think that these exclusive sets given out at conventions are getting slightly less in quality and with that word in mind I have to refer the coming May the 4th promotion in LEGO stores including the R2D2 polybag which is not bad in its own but it is worse than an exclusive minifig we used to get in the previous years. I just hope that is not a trend to make exclusive sets of certain celebration days quite less attractive. 
And as we are still into Star Wars, the season 2 of the Freemaker show is going to be released this summer on Disney XD. This show will revolve around MOC or Mock Droid released by Emperor Palpatine to hunt the Freemakers. And as we are expecting new sets from LEGO from this show, the Arrowhead and the Tracker 1 will appear in this season. I think the show may be gaining in popularity and I hope the sets will be pretty cool and the newly released trailer definitely looks quite fun. So if you are into the show, mark summer for the new season, but personally I am definitely more excited about the coming sets. Especially the Arrowhead which looks to be a pretty cool ship and a big one too, and I think it will also be the main plot points in the season 2 of Freemaker Adventures. So we are not that far away from checking out the new sets and the new season. Alright, and let's move on to the LEGO Ideas section. If you don't know what LEGO Ideas is, that is a website when you can submit your own LEGO project and if it gains enough support, 10,000 supporters that is, it will get considered for manufacturing by LEGO. So there was a big announcement in this section and also two new sets gained enough support for a review stage. Let's check those out. And the main bombshell that was unveiled this week on LEGO Ideas platform is that now officially the LEGO Ideas does not accept any builds or any creations based on active licenses currently used by LEGO. So that means any project submitted under Star Wars, Marvel, DC Superheroes or any other licensed uh, material will not be approved for voting. I think that is a good direction because it was known for a long time that no ideas set based on any kind of those licenses would be approved anyway, but yet they were flooding the platform in sheer numbers. So basically people were voting and supporting projects that were getting into the review stage with not a single chance of ever getting approved into manufacturing. And if I may add my own two cents to this matter, I think LEGO should still consider the licensed projects from uh, random people because on a number of occasions they were very very good, but there was simply no way of LEGO to actually appreciate them and maybe consider them for manufacturing. So I think they should open a somewhat of a new channel or platform for those people who still wish to upload such projects and provide LEGO with good ideas for upcoming sets. I think that should not be cancelled at all, but maybe redesigned. But let's move into the ideas sets. This week we had two sets that gained enough support for a review stage and the first one is the Tron Legacy Light Cycle by Brick Bros UK. And first off, the color theme is amazing, I love the way the light cycles looked in the movie. And here the designers from Brick Bros UK using the azure pieces, both transparent and solid, achieved that look pretty nicely. That is definitely a good material for an idea set. Still it requires a license, but not one that LEGO holds of course, and I think it would serve perfectly as a good display piece. The Tron franchise is somewhat legendary by now among the fans, and I'm pretty confident that this build would do pretty good on the shelves. The minifig that is planned to be included in the set is Sam Flynn, and we also get a small piece of the grid base as just a display stand. Overall I think it looks really good even though it's quite simple and as it is now a minifig scale build it cannot pretty much be any more bigger. So for myself good luck with the set. The light cycle will have quite a competition to beat but I think it has all the means to be pretty high in the ranking right now. Also the second set that achieved 10,000 supporters this week is the LEGO Ideas Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. The project by Bruce Lowell includes six Power Rangers, that is Zack, Kimberly, Billy, Trini, Jason and Tommy in their respective suits, as well as the command center with Zordon and Alpha 5. I'm pretty sure this set is right now in a bright spotlight thanks to the actual Power Rangers movie that's playing in the theaters right now, and this fact might have actually helped in gaining support for the set. I haven't seen the movie personally yet, but I was a huge fan of the show as a kid, and I think there is still a number of LEGO fans that would appreciate having this set on their shelves. The one not so small maybe issue with this set is that the actual Mighty Morphin Power Rangers license is being held by Mega Constructs right now, but as it was confirmed by Jason Bischoff, the director of global consumer products for Saban Brands, that is the owner of the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers franchise, this license is currently non-exclusive and that means that LEGO can actually start negotiations on obtaining the license. And this is most likely good news for LEGO Power Rangers fans, as LEGO usually takes into account the ease of obtaining the license and in general the ease of putting such sets on shelves. Time will tell and from me, thumbs up to Bruce for a great set. And that is it for this week's news episode. Thank you so much for watching. Remember tomorrow is the Mox episode. Don't buy Jack this time. And also if you like our content, remember to hit the like and subscribe buttons. We really appreciate it and it really helps us a lot. So without too much more talking, thank you so much again for watching. My name is Mike and I'll see you again on Brick Vault. Thank you.